Every pro player in the Fortnite scene has a few secret exploits and tricks up their sleeves that they can throw out to make their opponents look absolutely clueless. I mean, these techniques and exploits really set them apart from the rest. And today, we're gonna be peeling back the curtain so that you can have a look at some of the best. Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at your motivation guy. That's right, I am back, I'm so pumped up, and I'm excited because today, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the best exploits and tricks that you can use to totally confuse your opponents. Are you guys ready for this? Let's get this going. Okay, so one great exploit that you can learn super fast is the crouch phase. This was popularized by Nora Lee and The Deal and will allow you to place your build straight through someone else's walls just by crouching. Okay, so this exploit will work like magic when your opponent is panicking and trying to disengage and you can completely box them up without even having to take their walls. So the easiest way to use this exploit is by facing a cone through and just forcing your opponent to edit out. Okay, so start off by damaging your opponent and then pressuring them until they are forced to box up and heal. After they fully box up, you can do this trick as long as they don't put a cone in their box. Okay, so quickly just run up to the right side of their wall, crouch and uncrouch right as you just place the cone. This trick allows your cone to go straight through their opponent's box and essentially boxes them up without even having to break a single build. All right, so you can then proceed to take their wall, all right? Or just simply jump in if you know they're low on HP. So this trick is also much safer than just blindly shaking your mouse and just trying to phase a cone in because you have sight of your opponent and can react to their moves if they decide to make an edit on you. So by peace controlling them through their wall, like you can easily force them to edit out to the side. All right, be ready for this, man, and pre-box them so you can just have a free kill, which allows you to make sure that they can't drag the fight out even longer. So this trick also works with ramps, you know, walls, floors, so there are just endless possibilities. And you can just hold a ramp to be completely safe and block them off if they make an edit. And you can even place a wall to their side if they aren't fully boxed and run to the side to edit on them easily. All right, so this exploit is obviously really useful, but may not fit the playstyle of many players. And so that doesn't mean that, you know, phasing builds is off limits to you because there are other ways to really get the same results. Instead of just phasing a build through directly, okay, start off by chopping their wall and getting it to low HP so you can just break it with one pickaxe. Okay, so just pickaxe the wall, pull out your shotgun and pickaxe it again until you break it. However, However, you need to be ready and just place a ramp or cone through the wall as you break the wall. This will allow you to place multiple builds in their box with just one pickaxe by just pickaxing and then placing a wall and cone at the same time. You can use this for playing very aggressively and then just jump in every player's box without having to worry about them getting away. All right, you wanna know how to learn like super fast? Well, all you need to do is head on over to our website, proguys.com, where we've got a ton of pro coaches ready and waiting to train you guys one-on-one -on -one so you can improve faster than ever. One of the most overpowered tricks that you need to use in Fortnite right now is the Martaz Jump Peak. This is a peak that utilizes a ramp and a floor placed above you, allowing you to have an absolutely insane peak on your opponents. This method of peaking is so quick that your opponent won't even know what hit him, meaning it has minimal risk for you. So you can use this peak whenever your opponent is a layer above you and is trying to claim your cone and floor. All you need to do, guys, is edit your cone upwards like a ramp or just place a ramp down if you don't already have a cone placed down. After you've done that, edit the floor tile right above your head and make sure that your opponent doesn't try to break it while you're editing. And so with the edit complete, pull your shotgun out, jump, and then just look for a shot on your opponent. This peak will allow you to hit your opponent really hard and not a single player will expect such an aggressive play when you're in a situation that would usually require you to play incredibly defensively. And so since the ramp pushes you back down, it will also be lightning fast, giving you just enough time to hit your opponent, but not really giving them enough time to retaliate. Okay, so while we're on the subject of ramps, you should try this ramp face trick whenever your opponent manages to claim both the cone and the floor from above you. Whenever your opponent is trying to peace control you from this position, place a ramp down in your box and then phase yourself in it. So your opponent will try to break the build or will fall in by accident. This will give you the upper edge in the fight and all you need to do from this point is jump up or just simply shoot your opponent when they fall in and trap themselves in your box. This will also allow you to edit out and take new peeks at them while they're panicking and trying to break their way out of your box. Okay, so when combined, these two tricks are absolutely lethal when you're playing from a defensive position and you absolutely need to start practicing them and just really using them in your fights routinely. But your course, Tommy, it's time for the question of the day. Okay, so today we want to know what your favorite tricks to confuse people are in Fortnite. All right, let us know like the sneakiest, smartest plays that you got, and we're definitely going to check them out. All right, guys, back to the video. So Martaz really is a master of confusing plays because the next trick that we're going to talk about is once again one of his.
One of the most overpowered techniques that you can use to confuse your opponents in an intense fight is the Martaz box fake out. So this strategy is one that can really help you disengage from a fight to give yourself enough time to heal and can also give you a really good chance of turning the tables on your opponent so you can just eliminate them. The Martaz box fake out is a strategy that can help you win easily whenever your opponent is playing aggressively and isn't a trick that, you know, is just limited to just working in solos. Start off by tunneling backwards, disengaging, and then building up a full box. Okay, don't whip out your heels just yet though because now is when we get sneaky place a ramp facing toward your opponent inside your box and hide behind the back wall of your box your opponent will likely drop down to the side because of your ramp which will allow you to have a really easy right or just left hand peek to take by simply placing down a ramp, you're going to actually force your opponent to jump to the side of your box, allowing you to have an easy peek. So just make sure, guys, you crouch down and don't move until you have a direct shot of your enemy. So with pumps in the game at the moment, you can easily hit your opponent for over 100 damage and even just fully box them up if you want because of how much they're going to be panicking. This move is almost impossible to counter if your enemy falls for it, especially when you box them up with a cone after shooting them. So next time you need to heal up or disengage from an annoying zero ping W keyer, just use the strategy. With Steven's seven launch pads have finally returned, which means you're definitely going to need to know all the ways that you can utilize them to the best of their potential. It's not very likely that you're gonna have forgotten like how useful launch pads actually are, you know, for the basic things like rotating and positioning, but you might have forgotten about some of the awesome techniques that can be used with them. Okay, so as of right now, there are two new launch pad tricks that you need to know how to set up quickly so that you can easily rotate without any hesitation. The first of these is short padding. Short padding will make you fly at a lower distance, which will keep you from getting beamed by an enemy controller player with an AR or pulse rifle. So when you're in the end game, guys, or you're just trying to disengage from a fight in general, you should always try to short pad so that, you know, you have a much smaller chance of getting beamed. Alongside short padding, you can also cancel your glider animation entirely and literally go flying through the air without having to pull out your glider at all. This is called a launch pad cancel and it's only useful when you're at a high elevation. You know, you should always try to use the launch pad cancel if you need to disengage from an elevated build fight, if you're rotating to the next zone from the high ground, or even if you're landing on a player that is below you. When you cancel the animation from the glider, you can end up giving yourself a lot of room to work with. When you're just falling and you could just literally land right on top of an enemy player and just pump them in the face. So to set up a cancel launch pad, simply place a ramp above your head and a floor in front of that. This will bounce you right off the top and will send you falling down without taking any fall damage. All right, guys, so those were some of the best exploits and tricks that we think can seriously confuse your opponents to give you the advantage in a game of Fortnite. And so if you practice each and every one of these tricks, you're gonna be confusing your opponents with ease, man. So make sure you spend some time just trying to perfect them and you got this. If you guys liked the video, make sure you guys sub to the channel and connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. I believe in you, man. I really, really do. I am your number one fan. Go get it. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.